It's a unique training drill to help police agencies and health care providers be prepared for a mass shooting like the tragedy in Colorado. RTV6 reporter Station Matthews was there as emergency responders set up scenarios at the former St. Francis Hospital in Beech Grove. Agencies have been planning for this drill for months, three months before the massacre in Colorado. And this old hospital is a perfect setting because it's empty. In the scenario, this visitor approaches the nurse's station on the eighth floor, asking to see a patient. I need Rudy Kelly Fisher today. Well, we, you will right now. Have a seat. Me, right, right now she's recovering. But he becomes aggravated when he's today. denied, pulls a weapon, and begins shooting. Kelly Fisher today. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's what happens. There's not a lot of indication from the people often beforehand, and then it's just a tipping point, and once that tips, it have uh, bad consequences. The gunman makes his way down the hall into patients' rooms. But what would we do as, like I mentioned, as a provider in a real situation? Would we run to it, or would we run away from it? Law enforcement knows what to do, but curiosity gets the best of this woman. What is going on? What I would say is don't do that. Organizers say the volunteer's curiosity could have led to her death. They want you to learn from her mistake. Put yourself in the room, especially in a hospital like this where we have bigger doors. Try and block that door up somehow so that the only people who are going to get in there are police. When the drill is over, three are dead, 11 injured, including the shooter. Anytime we can get out of our routine, our day-to-day -day things, I'm pleased with the results because it will either confirm what we're already doing or will point out ways to us that things that we at least maybe think about um, for an actual scenario. Organizers say what played out here could happen for real, anytime, anywhere. They have scheduled to hold similar drills at other businesses in the coming months. Stacia Matthews. RTV6. A debriefing was held following that drill, but organizers say it will serve as a benchmark. More exercises will follow so that health providers and law enforcement can hone in on their skills for the best response.